What is going on guys? Griffin Striker here coming at you with another Final Fantasy 14 video. This time I want to go over some things with my UI as I've gotten an, uh, a question or two about my UI and giving you some tips to help you get your UI exactly how you want it because there are definitely some things the game does not explain including the use of macros which is probably one of the biggest things that you can actually utilize to make your UI really special. So to start off, I'm actually gonna go over nested hot bars. So this is a very important technique to kind of help limit the amount of hot bars that you have on screen while still giving you access in a really clean manner. So as you can see down here, I have my healers, my tanks, my physical DPS, and my magic DPSs all within these nested hot bars. If I click on physical, I can see, okay, well, I got Machinist. So I'm gonna swap over to Machinist. I'm actually already Machinist, so it's not gonna swap over, but uh, let's say I wanna go over to Black Mage. Well, there's my Black Mage. And it's using the exact same hidden hotbar. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. And firstly, a couple of things that you need to have set up. And also I do wanna say, I'm not going super in depth in this guide. So I will, I will link a video in the video description that I actually used to learn this technique. So you wanna come down to hotbar in your character configuration, sharing, and then make sure your hotbar, whichever one you're utilizing here, is set to share. If you don't have this sharing, it will break, and I just don't want you to have to deal with that headache. So make sure that is shared. So then what you're gonna do is you need a class, a base class, not a job, a base class. So you need one of the original of Realm Reborn jobs. So that would be Paladin or Gladiator, Warrior, Marauder. So basically anything that has a slash, these can actually unequip their soul stone once you have it. And you wanna use one that you have their soul crystal because if you only have pugilist and you do this, you're obviously gonna ruin some of your bars potentially. So I don't recommend it, although it's not necessarily bad because you can use bars that you know you're not gonna use before you switch to monk, but regardless. If you've already gotten all of your job crystals and you're like, well, how do I access Thaumaturge or Pugilist? You just basically unequip the soul crystal. So you come here, unequip, boom, on Thaumaturge. You can also make a gear set for the class that will remove it for you once you've done that once, but you do have to do that at least once if you've already made it. But as you can see with my Thaumaturge, I have all of my job crystals across a couple of hot bars, including a hidden one that's just hidden because I hide it on every bar that has my physical DPS. And this is the basic setup. So I have my Thaumaturge one, two, three, and then five. And if you come over to my macros, you'll see, let's look at physical DPS. It's copying Thaumaturge five, sharing it to hotbar seven. So that's taking that entire bar and basically copying and pasting it to this hotbar. And then it toggles it visible. And this is how I essentially get this whole effect started. So you hotbar copy whichever uh, class that you're using, which hotbar it is, share with the hotbar you're using to actually make the nested hotbar. And then if you come over to the class, you can see GS change. So this is the gear set change, whatever your gear set number is, which you can find um, by going into your character, ignore the C that I just put in there, and then going to your gear set list and finding Muck, which is at 18, and then putting that number in there in place of that. Also alongside that, I do wanna mention another cool thing that you can do. So basically with any item in the game or uh, any icon in the game, you can take that and make it an icon for your actual macros. And that's actually how I've done the job crystals here. So as you can see, it's macro icon slash M icon, soul of the scholar item. And as long as you possess this item somewhere on your character, whether it be your armory chest, uh, just unlocked on your account, it'll show up in here, which can allow you to do some pretty interesting stuff with your macros as far as like the icons. And the other thing is I do have it set to toggle the hot bar off. So anytime I click on a new job, it just disappears. It makes it a little bit easier to me. You can also add a weight right before the hot bar display by basically typing slash weight five or however long you want it to wait for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and it'll just toggle off once that timer is up. Bad thing is if you change areas or do anything weird, that can sometimes break that macro. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you some simple stuff that can actually help with your overall UI. So as you can see, I have my hotbar here, which is actually, uh, ignore the <laughs> retainers completing ventures, uh, which is actually a three by four layout. The reason why this is in three by four 
is because my mouse is actually in 3x4. So I have a Razer Naga MMO mouse, and this actually helps me kind of visualize where they are without having to memorize what exact number is where, which is very helpful for me at a glance for figuring out when, when I need to click buttons and where. You can do this by clicking on one of them, any UI element that's a hotbar. And as you can see here, you have multiple different options. You can make it completely vertical, completely horizontal, and anywhere in between. You change sizes, so you have all kinds of modification that you can add to the overall hot bars. In that same vein, you can also break apart some elements. So the big two are status effects. You can break it apart into a three and four group element. Basically, this breaks it up into conditional enhancements, enhancements, enfeeblements, and others. And you can move these around the screen. So if you know, hey, I, I want to specifically look for buffs on me, you can change enhancements and move those closer to you wherever you're going to be visually looking at the game. I like to keep status effects on one bar for me personally. However, something I do separate is my target bar. So you come here and turn this off. This is what yours would look like if you hadn't changed the setting before it'd be a target bar. If you toggle this on, this actually separates it into HP, status, and gives them a separate progress bar. This is the main reason I do that. As you can see, I have it set to 200% because I want it as big as possible. And this helps me visualize when enemy attacks are coming. So this is primarily useful for me when I'm playing DPS, if I'm being honest, because if I play healer, you know, not I'm not always staring at the boss with my reticule. But when I'm playing on DPS or tank, this gives me a very good view of what the boss is doing. And I really like having this up. And to take it a step further, you can move this closer to where your eye level would be, which is probably towards the middle of the screen to make it even easier to see when an attack is coming and to help you deal with mechanics if you're struggling with that. And then lastly, for the things that are easy to edit that the game doesn't necessarily tell you, uh, you have the heat gauge here. And this goes for any job gauge, not just the heat gauge. You can actually come in here, switch it to simple and is a much smaller a much easier to fit into your ui version of the job gauge and you can do this with any job i personally like the additional flair of the non-simple version so i tend to stick with this although there are some gauges since i dedicate this small space here for my gauges that i will switch to simple mode just so that it all fits kind of in this area right here and then one last thing i want to mention this is just something kind of nice that i like to have so you can actually hide entire HUD elements with macros if you want. I actually have one set up right here. It's on my Shift Z. It is my duty list of slash HUD duty list. And what this does is if I come here and I just hit Shift Z, I can toggle my duty list on and off. This is really helpful for me personally uh, because I don't always want this here. And I will just toggle it off when I'm not actively questing or if I'm not in a zone where this is going to give me information that I need. And it just gives me a little bit nicer screen real estate because I have this base, basically entire section empty at that point. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as well as got some information out of it. If you have any questions or want to ask me anything about the actual UI or anything else in 14, please leave it in the comments down below. I do try to read every comment that I can and I try to respond where I can as well. But that's going to be it for me, everybody. I hope y'all have a great one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.